Happy Friday and welcome back to another Blaze Friday Q&A where I will be answering questions from real Black female founders. I am your guest host, Nefertiri McGriff, and I am the owner of Transcendent Living. And so at Transcendent Living, we cater to the therapeutic needs and the life coaching needs of those who are looking for that next level evolution. So we help women and men create the narrative that they're they're wanting to create because the life that you want is waiting on you. You just have to create it. And so specifically, I make sure that I am supportive to adult daughters who are in toxic relationships with their mothers. And so a lot of times when women are, you know, when they have these things with their mothers, whether they don't want to pick up the phone when their mom calls or they're just exhausted after a conversation with their mom. Um, usually you you have some issues with your mom. And so I help women get, you know, work through that. So enough about me. We're going to get to our first question. And our first question reads, what inspired you to start your business? Oh, this is a good one. So what inspired me to start my business? It was actually um, clients that had that I had already been seeing for another agency. And I was leaving that agency and um, they were saying, you know, you do so much great work in the field. I don't think it should stop just because you're going to another business that doesn't necessarily have this as a role for you. So I thought about it and I'm like, you know, they're just being nice. It is what it is. And I started to really listen to different women who were in my situation. And I kept hearing the same theme. If people are asking you a certain question, if they're constantly coming to you for advice, they're coming to you for your expertise, then there is a business in you. And so taking that concept and really starting to believe in myself, I was like, you know what? I think it's time for me to take this to the streets, you know, and and make it do what it do. So that's how I ended up starting. That's what inspired me to start my business. All right, so our next question reads, is it best to go back into the nine to five space to make extra income for my business? Ooh, okay. <laughs> so these, these questions, I don't know if y'all knew I was going to be on, but this, this is like literally something that I've had to contend with. Um, so I will say it like this. When I started my business, it was a side hustle. I was still with my nine to five because I chose to bootstrap. And if you've been following Casey, you know, bootstrapping is where, I'm sure you know what bootstrapping is, especially if you've been following Casey, but it's, it's where you're, you're using your own money to start your business. And so um, that nine to five did help me. I will say that because my business isn't necessarily one of those types of businesses that require that much capital. So I was able to do that um, and still have my benefits, my health benefits, which were very important to me, still are important to me. And so there was a, a point in time where I decided to go full entrepreneur. And then um, I had to kind of backtrack and go back into the nine to five space. And I, I, I had to allow myself to feel okay about that because I, I felt a little bit that maybe I kind of gave up on myself too early, but there are certain circumstances that will um, kind of make you shift back to that. And that's okay. Just make sure as, as my mentor Casey says, do not have an expensive hobby that you consider as your business. Okay. Don't do that. We That's not what we're doing. All right. So our next question reads, what are some ways that I can find balance when I'm responsible for every single thing in my business? Okay, again. All right, so if y'all heard my introduction, I talked about helping women who are adult, who are adult children in toxic relationships with their mothers. Um, I, I had to shift um, how I do things. So my goal is still the same, but I had to change the plan. And my focus initially was on compassion fatigue. 
And this speaks to com compassion fatigue. I still do compassion fatigue, but that is more so um, with corporate agencies to make sure that they have healthy staff. But I will say when you are responsible, responsible for every single thing in your company, that can lead to burnout, which will lead to compassion fatigue. And so make sure you stay connected, one, stay connected with Blaze because we have so many women that you can um, identify with that are going through these things. Make sure you sign up for the seminars, the, the I'm sorry, the, the virtual summits. Make sure you are signing up for those things. Make sure that you are surrounding yourself with like-minded women, but also make sure that you are being compassionate with yourself. See how you talk to yourself when, when there's something that's not going well. And also, if you have the possibility to outsource to to hire somebody you know contract with somebody do that because again going back to what my mentor Casey says if you're doing it all you're doing it wrong and I know a lot of us don't have the uh, the resources to do to to outsource a lot but find ways that you can do that and make sure you take care of yourself because it all starts and ends with you Okay, and our last question reads, I want to have close relationships with other black women business owners, but I fall off with keeping in touch. What would you recommend to make and keep relationships? I swear all these, these questions are specifically for me. Okay, so um, throughout for so when I started with Blaze, um, I met my business bestie. And you have seen her um, post one of these before. Her name's Nina. She's your corner coach. And from there, we we saw that we had a lot in common. We saw that um, our, our personal and professional things just aligned. And so what we do is we, we made it intentional. We made it intentional to meet once a week. Um, and we kept in communication. We, we made sure that, and I, and so for my part, I had to make sure that, um, because I had been asking for this, just how you're asking, you're wanting to have a relationship with another woman who's, who looks like you and does what you do just in a different capacity. I asked for that and I got it. And I had to make sure that I was ready for that because I want to honor not just my time, but her time as well. And so looking at that from um, a business standpoint, you have to make sure that you're showing up in your friendships, how you're showing up in your business. You always want to make sure that you are compassionate, but you're empathetic as well. And so making sure that you have these open conversations with the woman that you're trying to build a bond with and see if you're on the same path see if there's some compatibility in your availability all those things but make sure you are intentional show up for her how you want her to show up for you all right i hope that was helpful these were some great questions i hope my perspective has helped i've been in the blaze community I think since 2020 yeah and it's it's been it's been such an honor such a privilege to be able to connect with different women um that's across the globe not not just us but across the globe to be able to connect with them and i stay in touch because i have my business bestie through blaze but i also make sure that i attend every now and then i attend the monday um, working session. And when I tell you there's some dope vibes in there, like the music session. <laughs> anyway, I, I ain't got enough time to talk about that. But I also make sure that I signed up for the newsletters. I was a part of the, the Blaze Intensive um, business uh, session. And just being able to have that access when I know, okay, I, I completed this course, but I need to go back. And so having that access to go back, um, and then it brings back um, those memories that I've had. And so it, it helps me to stay on task to reach out to the women that I have had connections with. And I follow them and they follow me back. So that's, that's good too, because it's a reminder for me, like, hey, your sisters are out here make sure you're showing up for them. All right. So again, I am Nefertiri, Nefertiri McGriff, 
I am the owner of Transcendent Living, and I make sure that I help people who are looking to show up in the world in a different place to write their narratives um, because the life that they are waiting, the life that you are waiting to live is waiting on you. And you can connect with me on Instagram, transcendent underscore underscore, that's two underscores, living, transcendent underscore underscore living. And there's a link in my bio where it shows you different ways that you can see what I'm up to, um, you know, just all the things of Nefertiti and transcendent living. So I love y'all. I love y'all D and I'll see you next time. Blaze Business Intensive is the six-week business management course for Black women. Enroll today by going to blazebusinessintensive.com.